hello friends so after a long time I'm, I'm making this video so this video is about how to create or how to launch your QRoder on cloud uh, free uh, trial version so so what you need to do you need to go to Google and just search IBM QRoder cloud so you will get a link over here like IBM QRoder on cloud click on that link you can see here guys you will get option like start your free tri trial so click on that and you can see here uh, if you are having IBM ID uh, and if you don't have just click on login this and just create your account so I will recommend create your IBM ID your you know by using your personal email address so and why am I uh, why this trial version I'm uh, explaining to you because some people don't have enough RAM storage uh, not hardware with them and they want to uh, explore what are the different capabilities of QRoder so I will recommend use this uh, tria, you know cloud QRoder on cloud version and you can see what are the different features available in QRoder sim right so I hope you understood so when you create uh, IBM ID just log in with that ID and then after login you will get wizard like this so I logged in already with my company and I you know asked for the free trial this is for 14 uh, days trial version so you can see today is 6th March so it's expired on March 20 so I'm launching my instance It's taking time meanwhile we can uh, yeah so you can see here this is a free trial instance I'm having if I go to the profile you can update your profile update your profile over here first time I'm launching so maybe it is, they, they are preparing you know in background that's why taking time no problem you can go if you go to this instead of launch uh, you, if you go to manage you can see here this is your trial uh, expire after 14 days okay and uh, you can add your users you can cancel your trial if you don't want to proceed like that so yeah so after 14 days it will expire so you can see I launched already my instance and it's now ready to use so you can see here we're having QRDAR uh, instance on cloud and you can see the tabs over here so dashboard offenses activity the one thing that I want to uh, you know highlight over here is you for cloud instance what you can do if you don't know about uh, same technology or something I can say you can leverage um, beauty of experience center of IBM QRDAR uh, th that is you know this is a QRDAR app basically and when you launch your free trial it's come along with that so you can see here at the right you can see here experience center app and what is this app is this app is used for threat simulation purpose so what threat simulation is so if you want to create a, a attack scenario and you want to see how the attack scenario is look like then this is the threat simulator so IBM experience center is the app which provides you threat simulator and you can create uh, you can run the attack and in background basically logs are replayed and uh, you can get the offense uh, I can say incident in your QRDAR right so I will show you some uh, so maybe I will start some maybe cloud AWS cloud attack so I am starting run so if I click run what happened you can see here I'm just avoiding the health messages so you can see here experience center 
so when i say experience center that means the logs are replayed from here and after some time it will create offense and if you want to learn about uh, how the attacks perform and everything then you click on the read more and read uh, this in read me pay okay or read more page you can see or uh, you can see learn about the attack how this attack is you know description of the attack how this how they simulated the attacks right what are the event they use log sources they consider then detection of the threat and investigate how to investigate that of you know offense so this is the uh, good documentation you can at least start if you want to learn how same works and everything So I am stopping this guys. I don't want to flood this one because uh, otherwise it will uh, reach the EPS. I don't know what is EPS for but I, we can see in admin tab. For community addition it's a 50 EPS events per second. For this one um, is there any limit to update? Oh, not mentioned over here so no problem so if I go to the offense again and you can see here guys with simulated attack and we got the attack detected successful login from different geographic for same username AWS cloud so so basically you can see if I open this I can get the summary of the offense and I can you can see here how many events are contributed for the, for this offense one two five two events and uh, there are so many details over here but I will talk about uh, in detail but yeah so guys I, th I hope you understood how to launch your QRadar on cloud trial, uh, trial version and uh, how to use experience center for threat simulation so thank you see you in next video